Hello everyone, welcome again from USA Canada Visa Help. And you are well suited to fill out VFS consent form because you have scheduled a biometric appointment to VFS Global. So this is the time you should fill out VFS consent form. And I can tell you one thing pretty confirmly that this is not a rocket science to fill out VFS consent form and it is at best a board science. So you can easily fill it, fill it out. You do not have to go anywhere for this. So what you do is you search by VFS consent form in the Google and then click on the first link here. Okay. And now it is downloaded. Now this is the form and in this form here in the first page, you do not have to do anything. In the second page, you write your name as it appears in the passport, given name and surname or given name and last name or first name and last name. First name means given name, surname means last name. Okay, so you understand those. So the way you write your name and also the passport will also the will, should be the same. Okay, and then the address, the address where VFS Global can communicate you, so your mailing address I'm talking about, so that VFS Global can send you a letter or the package or anything, okay? And then telephone number, this should include your country code also, the full phone number, not only the telephone number that you recognize and your country's people recognize, not like that. Internationally recognized phone number, which includes your country code okay so um, write your phone number in that way so that everybody in the world can understand what what is the phone number then email address then your signature the signature as you give your signature this doesn't matter too much but it should it should match with passport but if it doesn't match just try to make it as close as possible but um, i understand that people's signature becomes uh, like different after a certain period of time and then the date so the date is like the date format is like month month day day year 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 but if you feel uncomfortable then you can also write january 22 comma 2024 or april 11 comma 2024 the way you want to express and you can make understand the people that this is the date okay so it, it is not a big deal but try to do it in a standard way like april 05 2024 april 05 comma 2024 not apr april 05 make it look more professional and then signed at city country like Tokyo comma Japan or Beijing comma China or Delhi comma India or Mumbai comma India Dhaka comma Bangladesh and Colombo comma Sri Lanka or the way I'm telling like city comma then country so this is not a big deal this is not a rocket science and then in the third page you do not have to do anything if you are submitting yourself and in the fourth page, you need to write your name, signature, and date here because you are going to give your biometric applicants wishing to provide biometrics, okay? So do not fill out this person because you will give biometrics. So fill out this person. Applicants not wishing to provide biometrics. If you do not want to give, but you want to give, so fill out this person, okay? The top one. So that's all. So I hope you have understood. This is not a rocket science. This is at best a board science. So you can do this pretty easily. It is as sim as easy as water. So I hope you have understood. And still, if you have not understood, let me know in my comments uh, in the channel comments so that I can response. Uh, I can give you the good response, and you can do it yourself. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Bye bye.